basic country bass line. That's what you're going to get today, so stick around and enjoy. So country bass lines, that's what we're going to go over today. I've got an original here, and I'm going to break down the fundamentals of the country bass lines, okay? And if you don't know me by now, I'm Donald with the Bass Instructor, the How to Play Bass online course at IWantToPlayBass.com. Jump over there, subscribe, get your free ebook, and become a member to get updates on all kinds of good stuff. And this is I Want to Play Bass, your YouTube channel. Subscribe here also, hit that bell notification, and get in the loop. Don't miss a beat. Got lots of good stuff on bass, country bass. You know, even blues based, a lot of good stuff out there. So definitely, you don't want to miss it. So subscribe and hit that bell notification. All right, so this is country bass lines. This is a country bass line that I've put together to just kind of utilize everything that goes on with the country bassists that they think about and what they um, what they go over. I start off with just a little country, just, just a little bass riff in the beginning. So notice it's not a straight eighth feel, it's a roll eighth feel. <laughs> Not a, not a roll, it's not a straight eighth. It's kind of laid back. Okay, see it's not just straight eighth notes. So that's that's a, a huge idea in country music. The bass lines are not right on top of that eighth note. They're kind of laid back in points, you know. Not every country bass line, but most of them, for the majority of them, are kind of laid back. They lay off that beat just a little bit. I mean, 
mean, they're on the downbeats, nailing the downbeats, but the eighth notes are off just a little bit. They're just a little bit laid back. And that's where you get your foot stomping because you got that feel in there. And if you can lay that groove down, and that's what makes people move. So if you can lay that groove down and get that foot stomping, I almost got my camera shaking over there because I'm stomping my foot. And, you know, it's hard not to. You almost have to do it to be, you know, to get that feel. You got to feel it inside. It's got to come from within, not just here at the fingers. It's not technical. You know, it's not nothing like that. It's feel. It's feel. It's the soulfulness of it. So it's not the technical aspect. It's the soulful as aspect of it. So you got to get that feel and you can't get it without moving. You're going to move. You, you can't sit there stiff as a board and play some country music, some good groove in country music, or you're not going to accomplish anything. So you're going to move. And sorry if my camera shakes during that song, but it, you know, it's, um, it's, it's inevitable. Okay. So hope, you know, hope it doesn't make you seasick or nothing. So that's what we've got. We've got the rolled eighth notes and just that lick. And, um, if you want me to, break down the notes and everything for you let me know um it's just something i put together so it's not like um you want to learn it you can have fun with it though so you definitely if you want me to i'll be glad to and just get the ideas and you can put these in any note you choose to play put that feel in there and you can make the same thing happen then we get to the standard traditional the verse of the song and that's just this traditional country bass on the one and the five and just it's you know, it's just grooving. It's only at 120 beats per minute, so it's not um, you know, it's you know, it's almost harder to play slower than it is to play fast. I mean, I see people playing notes all over the place, but you really got to nail each note to get the right feel. You know, it's um, you can play fast and you can miss a note and nobody will even notice it. But if you miss a note, you're gonna notice it in country and in particular bass line. So you know, you got to nail it in. So it's almost harder. To play that and people will say country's easier it's not easier you know it's it takes more to create that country feeling to really get people up on on their feet because it's it's not easy at all and you know it might sound easy there's not a lot of notes but it's not you got to put it you got to make it feel and create that soul in there so we've got the um just the standard part the ghost note got to be right on that beat and that percussive feel has got to be right there and that's something they do also they use that ghost note a lot you know just making that note just muting a string just plucking a muted string creating a rhythm that's all you're do doing you're not creating a pitch it's just a rhythm and you're just giving it that feel. That roll, that shuffle feel is throughout the song. It doesn't lose that at all. So you use that ghost note a lot in country music as much as possible to give it that feel. Um, and then another big thing they do is almost bounces around when they go to that one and that five. They do that little bounce feel. It's, like, mm. so it's got a bounce to it, which gives it, makes it a little uplifting, you know, upbeat, giving that little bounce there. And all it is is just going from the, the fourth interval down, from that root, then that fourth interval down. And you will see that a lot too. They do that a lot. And it gives it that feel. It gives it that. You know that uh that moseying on down the the pathway you know um feel you know and then they use those passing tones just a half step below or half step above just a passing tone to lead you to that next note and that chord progression a one five and a two in there which is a little different typically you're going to see the four the one four and the five so in the key f it would be f c and b flat would be your chord progression but this is going to be a little different it's going to be f c your one five and your two which just gives it a little 
character. That's all. Um, just going with that. So, so that's your chord progression there. You know, use the ghost notes. That's a country trick, and the bouncing. The one and the four interval. Just give a little bounce. Then we've got the just the licks. They use a lot of pentatonic licks. They seldomly you're going to see them use those blues. Um, blues scales, which I've done a video of Charlie Daniel, that one down in Georgia. He actually used a Dorian. He's a little more intricate, using a Dorian scale in there, and he did, uses a blues scale as well. So, you know, it can be done, and it's done a lot, but in your standard stuff, you're looking at a lot of pentatonic stuff. And, um, you know, there is some blues in there. You can use that as well. You can definitely add it. It just gives it a little color. That's all. You're not going to hurt it. It's not going to change it. And the only thing that you need to stand true to is that groove and that rolled eighth feel. If you try to make it a straight eighth note, it's gonna it's gonna lose something. It's not gonna feel that country country theme that we've got going on. So that's um that's something you gotta stand true to. We go to a little chorus, which is just the D D um D G C F. So you know, not like that's any country tradition is just another chord progression a little chorus that goes on there and you just kept it real kept the groove feel a little ghost so just some ghost notes in there the passing tone do a little bounce bounce some feel and, and that's it. And then we come back to the verse again. And we just do that with a couple licks in there. I'll do another video on country walking bass lines, which will be coming out soon. So um, look forward to that. And, you know, that's another idea as well. They're, um, they're fun to use, and they get pretty busy too. So, there's, you know, country ain't no joke. So it's fun. You know, that's why I do it, and that's why I love it. And that's what we, um, that's what we cover here. So hopefully that helped you. If it did, help me help you hit that like button. And I'll catch y'all on the flip-flop in the next video. Bye for now.